I wanted to bring you guys today a video on the free cards that I'm having issues with that I've got to underclock because of overheating issues and moving them out and putting them onto the other rig. It did say that I was getting a package today, but I'll show you what I got. So I received my cables. My cables I needed. But not my um, my conversion box, my uh, my print power thing. I forget what it's called. This thing here. <laughs> my brain does it all the time. I remembered what it called before, but then I forgot. Yeah, so I need that to finish it off. Because as I said, I've got the frame ready to go for them, the top cards here to be converted into cross. I'm in the process of deciding to purchase with some of the profits that I've been receiving from mining so far. Uh, another, I'm planning to probably get another 250-70. I don't know, but I'll have to wait and see. I'm, I'm, I'm in a hard box. On a spot deciding if I want to go with that or I want to grab some CPUs. Comment down below what you think would be more efficient. Um, but like I said, I've only got a certain amount of power as I said in the last video. So we've only got about 24 amps to go before we've got to make that up decision as discussed in the last video of upgrading. But uh, yeah, so so far everything's on track. Fingers crossed that we can get there and get that last pump maxed out before the war over kicks off. We've got anywhere between March and just before, so just see what happens there. There's going to be a price deviation in the dip, not financial wise, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, so I really can't do much until the uh, breakout board comes, that's what it's called. See, I'm all right, get it. Uh, once the breakout board comes, then I can uh, push that other frame together and add the other GPUs and swap them around, and then we can move this out to the other shed, as we stated before, so then we can create uh, more efficiency in here. But you know, what I was thinking, if I was gonna do that, I could use the rack. If I was gonna do the CPUs, I could just wire them up. Like, I could just probably hang them, you know? I could do like four on this side and maybe four on another. So I'd get eight on a rack. You know, and that would, that would uh, be a good way to hold it instead of having to build uh, individual racks. I've seen a whole heap of different ways that you can do it. Um, I just haven't decided what I'm going to do. Comment down below and let me know what you would do if you were in that situation and what you prefer to run with. But yeah, I'm quite excited for that. Um, I don't have much to say other than that. Stay tuned for more content. Hopefully these parts come soon as well. Um, thanks to Panda. I didn't know that there I didn't know that there was uh, it's like a I explained it before. It's like a I can plug into the breakout board that will power the motherboards. So I've got one of them coming to test it to see how it goes. So fingers crossed that that comes and I can test that on the new rig there. I still haven't developed that rig since that's that 12, 12 rig. So hopefully we'll get onto that and be ready for bike.